Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're talking about a new style of light that you should consider putting in your kit. It's actually the one that I'm using to light myself right here. Okay, so this light is called a flexible light. And essentially what it is, is an LED light that lays completely flat. However, you can use it in two different ways. You can use it just as a flat laying light, or you can build like a soft box around it. So right now I have the light strip right here and it's got the soft box around it. So it's lighting me. That's what I'm using for my key light right now. And this specific one from Falcon Eyes is a long light strip. So it's super long and not so wide. It's more of like a narrow light which gives you some more opportunities to do some pretty cool stuff in terms of lighting. So I wanted to show you guys this light. I wanted to show you why I've added this one to my kit because adding a light strip and adding a light matte style light is huge. So this in particular is under $400. It's basically the light, the ballast, and all the pieces to make it work. And if you're interested in the light matte brand, there is a brand of this style of light called light matte. They're three, four times as much as this one. So this is actually on the lower end in terms of price. However, it gives you some pretty awesome output and it's a great light to have to your kit. So right now in this setting, what I've got going on, it's at 3% dimmable. Here's the ballast. It's got a spot for your battery. So if you wanna be able to shoot with this out on the go, you can do that and not need to plug in. But this light is also bicolor, so I could switch it and make it tungsten. I can also bring it up to 100%, which is bright. But as I have it built out here, it gives a nice kind of soft, even light that works well for say like an interview style lighting like this. Now the beauty of a light mat, the beauty of a flat laying light is that you can use this in a lot of different situations. So recently I was shooting for the California Figs Association and we had to shoot in a kitchen that was tiny. I didn't have a chance to see the location beforehand, so I kind of had to prep for anything. And what I did is I brought the lights that I normally work with. So I got my aperture lights, I've got a few Kino 4x4s. Having a flat lane light gives you the flexibility that you wouldn't necessarily have. So when I went into this situation, I could put lights kind of around the cameras and around this the subject, but there was an issue. I couldn't get anything back behind where it is that we're shooting. It was basically a stove, there's a sink, and there was just nowhere to place the light. So my Falcon Eyes came in handy in that kind of setting. So instead of trying to configure like a stand and hide it back there, what I did is I just took this light and I taped it to the ceiling. And that provided me not only my hair light, but it provided me lighting on the actual products themselves on the table. And it's really cool to have a light that you're able to just put in these small places, put in situations that you wouldn't normally get in a traditional light. If you're working with an LED light, like a one by one, they're still pretty thick and pretty big. You wouldn't be able to tape it to the ceiling. You'd have to rig it up somehow. With this, you basically, because it's so light and because of the way it's built, you can tape it basically anywhere or you could put some Velcro up or you could just clamp it on and, and it basically has a cable that you can run back to the ballast and the ballast could be at the other side of the room. Also with this light, you have the beauty of having a remote. So you can put the ballast somewhere, have it set up, have the lights set up. You can have multiple of these set up around your scene and sit there and just control not only the color temperature, but the, the light itself and how much output you're putting out there. So if you need to do little tweaks here and there, you can just run it all sitting behind camera and looking at the image. And that's a big thing with LEDs nowadays. I really like to have that ability to have a remote because in the past, when I used to work with a lot of just traditional tungsten lighting, when I was doing more than just camera work, when I have to wear many hats, which a lot of us do, especially nowadays, a lot of us are doing everything. You'd have to adjust the lighting, run back to camera, take a look and be like, okay, I do want that down a little bit. Go back, tweak it a little bit more. So it, it just saves you time, it saves you money because time is money. So let's talk about this light in particular. Okay, so the Falcon Eyes, I'm gonna grab the name. It is the RX29TDX Bicolor. I will put this in the description so you have a link to that. But essentially this light has a bunch of pieces going on and beyond the light, you get all the extras. It comes in a bag that's about 40 inches long and it actually when it's all said and done, it's not like super compact like you'd think. So if you're taking every 
everything with you, all the pieces that are involved with this light, it actually is has a pretty big footprint. However, you don't have to use all the pieces. So what it comes with is the light mat, it comes with the soft box that goes around the light mat, it comes with the different fronts. You get your soft diffusion, but you also have your grid, and the grid will actually direct the light even more. And then on top of that, you have the back, which is basically a bunch of bars that allow you to put the light on a stand. You got your stand hookup, which works with most stands. You got your ballast and you got your cables. And one thing I definitely recommend is getting more of the cable so you can put the light mat anywhere and not have to worry about putting the ballast nearby. That's a big thing. You need to just buy extra cable and they have specific cables for this light. In terms of the light itself, I think it's a great light. However, when you take the diffusion off, the actual LEDs can hurt your eyes. So I tried this in a few settings. I tried this with one of my fitness shoots and I put it next to my Kino and my talent was not impressed with the way that the LEDs looked behind camera. That's something you definitely gotta think about when you're using an LED light is, is it in the eyes of whoever's on camera? If you're not working with someone, a person, then you have no issue with that. If you're working with a person behind camera, looking at the LEDs, you get that like LED pattern in your eyes and it's not the best. However, you just put the diffusion on it, it kills that. But when you're using, say, the egg crate, that's when you have to worry about that. So something to keep in mind with LED lighting and that in general. Kino flows are much better on the eyes. They're much easier to put right behind camera and something that I'm probably not gonna get rid of in my kit. In terms of output, so I put this next to a four x four Kino. It definitely is not as strong as one of those. However, it does have a lot of output and it doesn't have a huge color shift. So a lot of issues with LEDs is that they have a green spike. I haven't really noticed much of a green spike with this light in particular. So overall, I think this is an awesome light to add to your kit. It does come in handy all the time. Being able to put a light in weird spots in places that you wouldn't normally be able to get a light just makes things so much easier. So you can add light to your scene where you didn't think you were gonna be able to add light. Falcon Eyes makes a really good product. It's cheap and it's something you could definitely add without breaking the bank. All right guys, that is it. I hope this was helpful in showing you a different style of light, something different, something unique. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of awesome filmmaking tutorials. I've got some cool reviews. There's also a ton of travel content. Guys, we're doing some cool stuff coming up in the next few months, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure you switch on those bell icon because then you'll get my notifications sometimes, depending on when YouTube wants to give it to you. And last, come check out my Instagram, at Jevendovi. And guys, I will see you on the next one.